In this channel, we usually suit up for the season finale, but I burnt my hand. So no suit. I know this isn't the finale. This is episode 14, but it kind of marks like the end of part one of GGO. Let's finish it. <laughs> this is a little bit of recap. Kito shows him knee to the face. The worst part of the, this scene is how good the soundtrack is in the background. Do you think, and I think the, the soundtrack composer is like Yuji, Kai, Yuji something, Yuki Kaijura? I forget. But do you think the anime director is like, all right, y'all need to fucking hit us with a piece, and, and the, uh, with a piece where basically the theme is going to be a creepy dude tries to sexually assault a girl. Can you hit us with that? And then he's like, bet. Why is the soundtrack good here, dude? Kirito! Oh, yes. End him, Kirito. Sorry, Kazuto, Kazuto. Actually, you know what would be even better? If Kirito, if Asada didn't run away and like ganged up on him with Kirito. That would then forever solidify Shinon over Asuna. Just like beat them up together. <laughs> Grab a frying pan. Come on. What the fuck? How are we getting beat, dude? This is what he gets for being a fucking gamer, bro. I'm like, why is he losing? Because this is a fucking not a game, bro. He's a fucking gamer. And there's no shot that actually went through. There is no shot that actually went through. But the sound of it, though. Like, it sounds like it went in, right? She don't do something. Oh, lot. <laughs> Let's go, Kate. Okay? Asuna better than this Asuna. Asuna better than Asuna. You think you think that Asuna Asuna could do this? Do you think that Asuna could fucking do this, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Cause like she, oh god, from the top rope, here comes Asuna with the radio. Ba god, RKO out of nowhere. So heart attack. Heart attack. Oh no, guys! Oh. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, anyways, aside from the <laughs> Asada and Kirito fan service right now, what the fuck is that? I don't get it. Does that mean he's safe or bad? You're telling me! You're telling me he had this ready the entire time. Like, like, okay. If it was like a bulletproof armor, then I'd be like, all right, all right. But like, he had this one single thing right over here, which I assume is from the fucking, uh, you know, link start, right? With the nurse's setup. That's crazy. The one location where he went for the syringe and he still had that on. What in the fuck? Actual plot armor. This is actual plot armor. Oh, what you doing, Asta? What, what you doing? <laughs> what the hand doing there? It's called the plot armor. It was. Yeah, it's from the setup for Link Start. What is up with fucking midriff Kirito right now with Asuna, bro? Don't let Asuna know, guys. Don't let Asuna so. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! You know what's even more fucked? I just realized something. I just realized something. Because, like, you know at the end of GGO? What was um Yui and Asuna doing? They were like, oh, put your hand on the phone, right? <laughs> put the phone on the hand. Papa can hear you. And they're like, we believe in you, Papa, right? So when GGO ended and Link started, when Link ends, he got up. He immediately was like, huh? Oh, hey, girls. And then he ran out. He ran out. He's like, oh, I'm back in real life. What the fuck are you two doing here? I'm out of here. I'm going to get a chin on. So like, <laughs> this is even funnier. If you think about like what happened when he disconnected from the game and running here, completely ignoring Yui and Asuna, bro. I'm sorry. The new girl is in danger right now.
Hit him again with the radio. Is what? Is he okay? Okay, okay. I thought he said, "Are you dead?" or something. I feel like we should end him before he does more creepy shit to other people, bro. Oh, what is this song, bro? Hmm? Heartfelt moment incoming. So. Can you tell you think he planned that all? That should do it? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. It's the bullies. What are we gonna do? Oh, it's that ring sound, dude. That that bell sound only plays when like laughing coffins around. Kill him. <laughs> Pistol whip him. I hope she fucking reaches into her bag, pulls out the gun. And points it at the girls. <laughs> Imagine we like threaten them. It's it's a fake gun, right? But like we just like point a gun at them, and they're like, "Oh God, what are you gonna do?" Nope. Nope. Pull out the gun, bro. Pull out the gun. Or slap her. Do something. Fight. Oh, the glasses are off. She getting ready to fight. <laughs> what, the model gun? Oh shit! She bringing it out! The Glock! So... It's a fake gun from her brother. Nah, she's overcome the trauma, right? Come on! Holy fuck, she tried to fucking pull the trigger, dude. Holy shit, she actually tried pulling the trigger, what the fuck? Disarm. Yeah. Point it right back at him. What is she, Hirano from high school to dead? So like, it was a real gun? She tried fucking pulling the trigger, but the safety was on. That's fucking insane. No. BB gun, I think. BB gun, BB gun. That's not a real bullet. No, 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 right? That's a BB gun, right? I can't tell. The impact of the gun doesn't seem too loud. I don't know what that really meant. Because that doesn't seem like an actual gun, right? The sound, the impact of the bullet on the can, it seemed like a BB gun. Some kind of pellet gun, right? It's gotta be, right? Because I'm like, if that was a real fucking gun, holy shit. Alright, she's overcome it. She took her glasses off. She took her glasses off and she shot. But the glasses vision impair and she hit it perfectly. I, 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 I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm just realizing this, it doesn't matter, but like she took her glasses off and she has bad eyesight and. Yo, the one in the middle kind of looks like Kura deal. The one in the middle kind of looks like Kura deal. SAO part one. Am I wrong? Look, 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 look at him. Look, look at her. And I, look at the face. It's the hair. I don't know. Something about the face right now. That's Kuna deal, bro. First step, episode title drop. One step forward. I want Shinon and uh, oh, Asuna to meet, bro. Oh. <laughs> Who is this handsome dude? With the motorcycle? Yo, if you're in high school and you got a motorcycle, you are like the coolest fucking dude ever. And then he just shows up in front of the school ready to pick up Shinon. Oh my god. Motorcycle Riz. Damn. The Black Rider. Why is he so cool? It's not a date, but kind of, it kind of gave the Jeff, uh, the government official, all the information. Whoa, 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 whoa! So of course there was a third death gun because how could they have killed like Pale Rider and some other guy? In, in, I forget the other cowboy dude at the same time, right? So there is a third death gun, Kanamoto Atsushi, still on the run. Probably doesn't really continue on to the next season, right? 
正一がリアルマネー取引で透明化できるそのマントと双眼鏡を使い正一はプレイヤーのリアル情報を盗むのにネックセイに行き詰まっていたというアジリティ万能論 And he was like, Oh my god, I spent all my stats! I hate you! Yep, yep. Which is a crazy thing. Like, so you got scammed in a video game, so you decided to kill him in real life. That's, 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 that's like an insane jump. Thinking about what happened just really boggles your mind. Oh, the actual death gun guy, Zaza's face. Well, we don't really get to see it. しかし、連日議論していくうちに、計画は現実に帯びていき、父親が経営する病院から、緊急時に電子キーを解除するマスターコードと、激アが念入りに下調べをし、And then they broke in and then injected, right? 場所で一人暮らししている人物に絞って、ゼクシードこと、重村氏の自宅にマスターコードを使って侵入。事前に教授は兄のキャラクター、ステルベンでロビンブンデスガンと名乗ってゼクシードを銃撃したタラコもほぼ同じでサルテタラコだが GGO のプレイヤーたちはデスガンにゴーニアした小一たちは BOB 本戦で一挙ヘイライダーノーああ、だわずデレスシノアドカダパーツワウリワナキルシノンビカゼンロブシノンアタタリウォンティメキシノンアライブメビデューサム Weird fantasy about having this kind of like power over a girl you love, and I don't know, you being the one to kill her kind of deal. I don't know. The, the sign. The sign. Johnny Black! I don't really remember reading the Johnny Black in the logout menu in episode 14 because I was too focused on yelling Zaza, but Johnny Black. Is this character important for the future guys or will he just be done moving forward? In the abridged episode, was he part of the Yoga Pants arc? I'm not sure, but Johnny Black. It would be hype if he was like an antagonist in part 2 of season 2 or maybe even season 3. He's a poison knife user. That's Johnny Black. <laughs> Johnny Black looks cute. Okay, <laughs> his mask is not helping him out at all. Cause he looks like he has like cute cat ears and he's wearing like a potato sack in front. He looks so cute here. How am I supposed to be scared of Johnny Black? Zaza at least had like a creepy skull-like mask and red eyes. Like Johnny Black just looks like a cat dude with fucking potato sack on his head. <laughs> Because only I could do it, right? Not even my own brother could have it, right? I mean, the younger brother literally said everything on that last episode. Hmm? I don't feel bad for him, bro. VR MMORPG That's a wholesome brother, bro. Like, so close, so, so great. And this is all like, why are we not blaming Kai about for this? Right? Because technically, this is Kaiba's fault that he created SAO Einkrad and he did this. And insane people like the Laughing Coffin, you know, cr got created. And then they were not able to, you know, live the same life. So they decided to live that kind of life in real life too. So we should be playing Kaiba, but like, I don't want to. You know why? Zacido. Kaiba gets away with it. I don't know. He, he just gets away with it, bro. <laughs> だからその分、今の俺の質量は減少しているとと思うかね。聞くなよ。だぜ。えっと、キリト、仮想世界なんかないってあなた言った。その人のいる場所が現実。この世界が。You wanna join us in ALO? もしここが仮想世界だってことだと思う。そうか。そうだな。において唯一の価値ある心理かもしれないぜ。からかわないで。これを僕が把握しているのは以上だ
basically just like a philosophical debate of like what's real. 70 years of manual labor. This probably is reality to them and they're just living it out. More philosophical talk about what is reality to each person. Straight up, this could have all been fixed if they just went and touched them fucking grass, bro. This is the result of terminally online kids. And who put that stress on him? He's playing a fucking video game, bro. Yes, cuz I'm a gamer. <laughs> this line is pretty fucking deep, right? Because he wanted to be stronger. Kirito, do you know why Kyoji spent like 25 hours a day fucking grinding in World of Warcraft farming all these boars? <laughs> because he wanted to be stronger. Like, I see what he's trying to say. But at the same time, it's just like, if you really think about what's going on, it's just so ridiculous. Bro, just go touch some fucking grass, live a normal life. He just treated it like a job. He wanted to be stronger. Then he was like, he got like lied to about the distribution of the stats. He got fucking scammed and he decided to kill people. But the whole origin story of Death Gun is so fucking stupid. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too deep into this. But truly, it just feels like the motivations of Death Gun, it's so fucking stupid from Kyoji's side. But from Zaza's side, I think that's a little bit more realistic. Because, like, I totally get being stuck in a game for how many years, living that type of identity, and then suddenly you're put outside of that world, and you don't know what is real or not. Therefore, you cope and try to be, like, a killing, like, a red player in real life. That, I think, actually does make sense. It's just... His brother then like piggyback onto it and the whole motivations. That's fucking stupid. Right. Maybe there'll be some closure for Asada and Kyoji then. Wonder if we're gonna be able to squeeze in Asuna and the rest of the cut quartet in the finale. What is our prize for this? Is it just a shitload of money? What was the reward for Kirito doing this mission? Because like this is crazy. We actually risked our lives for this. Red Eye Zaza! From Red Eye Zaza! Oh shit! This is the end. Oh, last episode. Or maybe the episode before that. No, it was last episode. Zaza said something very confusing about like, he was referring to like a different group of people. This isn't over yet. They something. And then it was like, and dot, dot, dot. It was like, what is this? So I'm sure it just kind of implies like, other laughing coffin members they're still doing other shit and this isn't over i'll see you in season three i'll see you next part it's showtime episode 15 or season three content i'll be down either way it's showtime You know what would be the craziest plot twist? This dude is Johnny Black. No, no, that's not other. He's not a laughing coffin member, right? But whenever he has glasses and we can't see his eyes, it makes me kind of suspicious. No, 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 it doesn't make sense. No, 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 no. But like, what if? Dato! Let Asuna see the date. It is. It is, right? There's no way the cut quartet is in here right now, right? There, there's no way. It's just Tiffany, right? Is Tiffany gonna be like, yo, are you cheating on Asuna? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> What's up, girl? 
Uh, Asda, this is my harem. Harem, this is the newest girl that's replaced you. We get to finally see Tiffany this season, though. We hardly got to see him ever. Egil, say something, bro. <laughs> and these are my uh, girls that you replaced. Elizabeth, that's right. <laughs> Rip off Blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so funny? He, rip, he insults her? She goes in for a punch? He just like, get the fuck out of my way. She falls down. Okay. <laughs> the berserk healer? I thought she was like light speed flash Asuna from Aincrad. They get new titles? <laughs> okay. Oh, in ALO, she's the Berserk healer. Where's Sugu at? I mean, that is true. Her, I mean, she fucking named herself Asuna in game and in real life. So, like, you know, it, it does make sense. <laughs> just dox yourself. Why don't you just put your last name on there, too? Even though she's, like, cucking you guys? All right. Hey, you're really not gonna say anything? What, what, what is this? Oh, the trauma. What the fuck? They did like. They're trying to help, right? Wait. The. Mom! We got mom back? Wait, 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 wait. Because, like, the guy is dead. Because we, we need a closure, right? It's got to be the mom, right? Is the mom here? It's got to be mother. What is this? Fucking Jerry Springfield? It's like, and out of the fucking top rope. Oh, God, here comes Shino's mother. It's like, what the fuck? I didn't fucking ask for this shit. Oh, Lord, it's Shino's mom! Ugly ass kid. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. This fucking dumbass mom and this fucking kid. Look, look at the fucking six head. Look at that fucking forehead. No need to be mean to the kid. <laughs> Who are you? Mother! Oh, it's not mom. Because I'm like, how would you forget your mom? Not mom. Osawa's. Osawa. Do we know the last name? Is this the daughter of the man that we killed? How does this girl relate? Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, she's a, she's a she's a fucking random. How does this give us closure? I, you random fucking receptionist that was held at gunpoint. I was gonna be mom showing up and saying I'm sorry Shino and for what I've done and they're gonna hug it out wow I can finally move forward but you bring in the fucking reception <laughs> okay uh, no I don't think it's her fault at all apology not necessary y'all are all victims and this kind of shows, like, thanks to Shinon, the kid was able to be born because she was safe. So thank you so much for, you know, allowing me to have a child. So that's the kind of, like, um, satisfaction this is. Okay, okay this, is, this makes more sense why they're bringing her in now. She saved a life like that. Then it is closure, yeah? These motherfuckers really decided to not hire Agil's voice actor just to pay him for these episodes. They're like, you know what? Let's just bring him in, but not make him say anything. Kipto's such a good guy, man. He went all out of his way to do all this shit. I thought she was going to pull out a gun. I thought she was gonna pull- Maybe this is a drawing of a gun. I thought she'd be like me. <laughs> okay, to Shinon Onesan. Um, is Shinon on the left? 
Because she has glasses? I don't know. This drawing is fucking trash, kid. What the fuck is this drawing? Oh, thank you. Oh. This kid can barely talk, bro. That's fucked up that they hired a, a voice actor to voice the fucking kid for one episode, but they couldn't do my man A Gil Tiffany justice. She's crying because how shitty this picture is, bro. How could a child draw so terribly? Zacido. Shinon. Hecate 2. Wow. And that is the episode. I don't know how to feel about it because at the end, the closure thing, I thought that the mom was for sure going to show up and she was going to have some kind of big closure and say, you know, I was wrong. I'm sorry all this time. And then, I don't know. I thought something like that would happen. But the receptionist and like the daughter that she known, that she known saved, I think that's very heartfelt too. Of course, I'm joking when I'm saying the drawing is trash. What would you fucking expect from a kindergartner? But, you know, I think this is a pretty good conclusion to GGO. I think that Shinon is better than Asuna. Mm, maybe it's recency bias, but Shinon never needed to be saved. And she was always kind of, you know, dueling with Kirito and doing some shit. Maybe I just have a bad judgment of Asuna because of part two of season one, where she was truly just damsel in distress and couldn't do anything when weird rapey shit was happening, which is not Asuna's fault. But Shinon is such a refreshing, uh, you know, a main uh, girl's girl role where they don't need to be saved. They can kind of dish it out together with the main character. I love how she grabbed the fucking radio and just bonked this dude on the fucking head. It was fucking good. And Kirito plot armor as usual. You know, the more I really think about it, the more I realize how Kirito is such a good guy, man. Kirito is like such a wholesome, kind, sympathetic person. Like, is this the same fucking person that we knew in season one in the fucking beginning? I guess that's what happens when you play a fucking video game that almost kills you. The amount of development I think that Kirito got, I don't think a lot of people really recognize him like that. We just kind of meme as Kirito being the Black Swordsman, he does OP shit. But the fact that he went all about out of his way to do all this shit extra for, you know, Asada, that's kind of crazy. He's truly just such a good person. I, I would have never expected him to turn out like this, but here we are. The Risen Girls up with the motorcycle. Now, there's some things that may carry on to the future, right? For example, there's like a Johnny Black, I think, right? Which is like the third death gun. And I'm not sure how important that's going to be or the memo left by some of the death gun members, right? It's not over, right? It's, it's not over yet. This is not the end. So I hope that future Laughing Cop members will be incorporated into the story in season three and season four. Or maybe they just kind of handle that in the second part of season two and then season three and season four is totally a separate plot. I'm not really sure. Now we have second part of season two to watch. And a lot of people say that this part is really bad. There seems to be a pattern of part one of an SO season being amazing and part two just being kind of a a little bit hard to finish, but we're still gonna finish it. Hopefully it's a fun time. Hopefully y'all can enjoy with us. And then We'll probably have to watch the movie, which is actually canon before season three. And then we can get started on stuff like that. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.